The level of entitlement people have nowadays is astounding. Why don't you explain to me why what I'm doing is wrong? And as part of the younger generation, it's baffling how the left is pushing even further from what is reasonable and someone adopting the mentality that if you're not with us, you're one of these kind of person. It's ridiculous how many people go around the internet trying to normalize the most absurd shit. The most notorious are maps, trans race, superior. Like, what even is a map? Not that map, the other map. Map refers to a minor attracted person, which actually just sounds like pedophilia. What about being a transracial person? I first heard about this when watching a video about Holly London where they said they changed their race to Korean because they feel like they're Korean. Bitch, how do you even feel that? Onwards and upwards, I'm Korean. People need to accept the fact I do look like Jimin. And I feel like having this Korean aesthetic, it makes me feel amazing and I do identify as Korean. I know it oh, might be a new concept, Ollie, but yeah. Why, why does nipple correction make you more Korean? And not really lastly, but Nephilia, the attraction to animals, and it's where I found this article. Is it okay to be attracted to animals? Where an answer said, quote unquote, I've been a zoophile for over 15 years now, since I was 14 and I willingly lost my virginity to my German Shepherd Midnight. Huh? They further explained the difference between bestiality and zoophilia, saying bestiality is and zoophilia is mutual. They're f***ing animals. Literally. I wanna f***ing die. I don't want any of these being normalized. And gladly, the majority agree that these are just ridiculous and uh, outright criminal. At least two of them are. But recently in TikTok, of course it's TikTok, shut up, has been showing me videos about people saying that RCTA is valid. No. What is RCTA? RCTA means race change to another, basically changing teams in a game. And it sounds like another term for being transracial. But they're saying that it's different? Different how you ask. I don't know. <laughs> but this TikTok is telling us that they are more educated than transracial people. Huh? I guess not educated enough. It happens when someone does not feel connected to their current culture so they change it to one they feel more happy with. How the f*** do you change race? Changing your culture is not changing race. You can adopt other cultures, but you cannot change your f***ing race. <laughs> what the f*** is wrong with people? Wait, what is this? There's another one. ECTA. Changing your birth country that's Asian to another Asian country. They're making things up as we go, bro. Yeah, so while editing this, two new things popped up. PCTA and DCTA. Right They're both very stupid. PCTA, person changed to another, which just sounds like Ollie London again. And DCTA, disability changed to another. I'm like, what the f***? Why do you want the disability? What is wrong with people right now? I'm pretty sure some people are joking about this, but Jesus Christ. I think this is what they call fatherless behavior. Unlike gender, race is not something you can't change. I'll always be a short Filipino man, not because I chose to be one, but because it's what the draw of life has given to me. It's not the same as gender where everyone deserves to love whoever they want to. The thing is, don't worry about things that is out of your control. And just because you see the advocation of the acceptance of the LGBT community doesn't mean you're part of it, especially if your preference having an attraction that is outright criminal. I'm looking at you too. In conclusion, you can't change your race but you can change the number on that like button. My room is still not done so I'm still outside but once it is done I'll be able to make videos more frequently and also click the subscribe button if you're secretly sad like I am. That's all. I'm gone. Bye.